Women are absolutely crucial um, to both the growth of our business, but also the growth of the local economy in the local community. Um, the reason we think they're so important is because they are already pillars of the local communities in which we operate in, uh, and they're absolutely already pillars of our own business. And so if we can help through economic empowerment of women to actually encourage them to thrive, their local communities will thrive, and then business generally will thrive. And at the end of the day, you know, women, women account for 70% of, of the decisions on what is purchased to go into the household. So, of course, that's important for our business as well as the local community connection. We know that in the next decade, according to the World Bank, in the next decade, one billion women will enter the workforce in the developing world. So that's in Latin America, Africa, Southeast Asia, in addition to the one billion that are already in the workforce, okay? We also know that according to the World Bank, 800 million of those women do not own smartphones. So that's a huge market for Qualcomm, right? Because we make, you know, we're the world's largest producer of wireless chipsets that go in your tablets, in your smartphones, in your e-readers. So the business case is, that we know that women are using, women that are using phones, whether feature phones or smartphones, are using them for work and family life. And we know there's an 800 million deficit um, number of women that don't own smartphones. So the business case is there's a huge market potential, not only for companies like Qualcomm, but also for mobile operators and other handset manufacturers to really reach out to these people and educate them on how they, if they don't know, how they can use smartphones for entrepreneurship or for educating themselves on health, um, but also in their in their work lives. Join My Village we um, is, is um, supported through the Community Action Division at General Mills and we don't treat it as sort of a creating shared value program. Um, such that uh, similar to what some of our businesses do. So in terms of, you know, they'll, they have um, phenomenal work going on in sustainable sourcing um, of 10 priority ingredients as part of our 10 by 20 initiative, 10 key ingredients uh, by 2020 to be 100% sustainably sourced. Um, so that work is driven by businesses and a sustainability team. In the case of Join My Village, we're doing this work as part of strengthening communities, as part of kind of tying back to our company values about doing the right thing. And again, that sort of 100 year history of helping to strengthen entire communities. So um, while there's not an immediate, direct, tangible benefit per se to company PL um, in the traditional sense to work like Join My Village, we firmly believe that the biggest opportunity to, to lift those communities, if you look at it even in the economic sense, would be to start to enable those women and girls to participate um, first in education and secondly um, in growing economies where they have more control over their livelihoods. It was important to us in designing the program that we establish both a social case but also a business case. Uh, we found that sustainability of programs, especially if you're doing them in a workplace setting, it is all about the business impact and that's what we decided we desired to do in designing the program. Looking at how we wanted to impact the, the workers life but then also looking at how it would benefit business. So PACE design is all about doing both. You hear it talked about a lot now is shared value. We started talking about it as a virtuous cycle of benefit. Again, directly benefiting the worker, the female worker. In turn, her family is learning the women in her community are learning from her. Because her, her skills are getting better, productivity and efficiency goes up. And our hypothesis on it is that as all those things happen, the, the vendor's operations are better, which would lead to our products being manufactured in a more timely manner, quality being better, but just the overall work environment has a positive benefit also for Gap Inc.